Hi everybody, this is Johnny. Let's make a game together. For this game, you will need some paper, two sheets, something to write with, some playing pieces and dice, maybe some coins, and uh, oh yeah, you'll need a bear as well. So let's start with just one sheet of paper for our game board right now. On this sheet, Let's go ahead and put the number 5 right in the middle, 10 on one end and 0 on the other, and the in-between numbers as well, 6, 7, 8, 9, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And now we need a couple players. So in this corner up here, let's go ahead and put one player. A little bit of a T, a couple circles, Curve below, curve above, maybe an angle out that way, another angle like that, a couple whiskers, and this player's name is Cat. And down here, maybe a little line, half circle, another circle, a little circle down there, a couple circles like this, maybe a little bit inside too, a little arc and of course the ears. And this player is named Dog. Now let's go ahead and make the second sheet of our game board. We'll put this board right here. That's a good place for it right now. Second sheet looks like this. In this one we want to find the middle and go a little bit to the left and put the number 15. At one end we want 11, we also want 20, and the in-between numbers, 16, 17, 18, 19, 14, 13, and 12. Oh, and we need something else here. Let's see, down here, I'm going to draw a curve like this, straight line, another curve and join them, maybe a line like that. A line coming down, like all these good lines, joining them together. Maybe a circle like this, and some stripes. Okay, I wonder what this is. Oh, let's draw a line like this. Another line like this. Maybe something like this. And another one over here. Oh, and this would help to understand what's going on. Now I'm starting to understand, and maybe this will help too. Over here, maybe this is a volcano going off. And this game is called Treasure Hunt. And I think we have our game board now. Let's put it in place. Treasure hunt. There we go. That looks good. So let's play the game. First thing we'll need for this game is treasure. So what we want to do is put coins out along the treasure route, the treasure map. And you can put as many as you want on any numbers you care to. There are no rules for this. So I put two pieces of treasure for seven, two for ten. I'm going to put one piece of treasure for four, one for twelve. Let's put three pieces of treasure for the number six. That's a lot of treasure for the number six. Let's put, um, let's go ahead and put one piece of treasure for fifteen, and let's put something special at the very end. Let's put five pieces of treasure for the number 17. And now we'll need the dice. We need two dice and we'll need two player pieces. Dog will be the square and cat will be the triangle. And we're ready to play. Now cat and dog are trying to move forwards and backwards along the number line to collect the treasure. 
they use the numbers on the dice. The numbers on the dice can be used in four different ways. The first is to go forward, two forward and five more forward, or five forward and two more forward. That's the same. The player could also use the same moves to go backwards, two backwards, five more backwards, five backwards and two more backwards, and that's the same amount too, that will be seven backwards. But the other special thing is that the player could use one of them for forwards and one of them for backwards. The player could move five forwards and then two backwards, or two forward and five backwards, and they will end up in different places with those. Okay, So the four ways to go are all forward, or all backwards, or one of them is forwards, the other one is backwards, or you switch them. The other one is backwards, and the other one is forwards. We'll see this in the gameplay. Cat's going to start. Cat rolls a three and a two. Cat could move three forward and then two back. So one, two, three. One, two, and get back to one. That doesn't help much, right? Cat can't go two forward and then three back because cat will go off the board. Cat decides to go forward three and two more. One, two, three, and two more. One, two. Cat is now at the number five. It's dog's turn. Dog rolls two fours. Dog could choose to go one, two, three, four, and then back four, and end up at zero again. But dog decides to go four forward and four more. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Dog is now at the eight. There's no treasure there. Cat's turn. Cat rolls a two and a three. Now this is a special roll. Could go two forward, one, two, and then three more. One, two, three, collect some treasure. Look how much treasure there is. There's two pieces of treasure at the 10. Or could choose to go two forward, one, two, and then three back. One, two, three, and collect this treasure. That's pretty good. But what if cat decides to go three forward, one, two, three, and then two back? One, two. Look what happens. Cat collects six, this number six treasure, which is three pieces of gold. So cat is at number six now and has already collected some treasure. It's dog's turn now. Dog rolls a two and a one. So what can dog do? If dog moves forward, one, two, and then one more, there's no treasure. If dog moves two forward, one, two, and one back, no treasure. If dog moves two and one back, one, two, and one, gets back to six, no treasure. But what if dog moves just one forward and then two back? One forward, one, two back. And where does dog end up? On the number seven collects the treasure. The player who collects the most treasure after all the treasure has been collected will be the winner. For this game, you need some paper, two sheets, something to write or draw with, dice, playing pieces, treasure, and make sure you have a bear. Enjoy this game.